Hi, Dr. Rudy Cashman. Uh, welcome to our Cashman Wellness Show. Uh, this half-hour show uh, I have always had for over a year now uh, on stopping, preventing, and reversing type 2 diabetes. Why am I so concentrating on this? Because uh, it has associated with it uh, about 50 diseases which could be prevented, stopped, or reversed the majority of the time. Yeah, isn't that interesting? And in that the government is not leading the way in doing this uh, should be a little bit upsetting or concern to you. But I've been at it for a long time. I'm happy to say on June 15th, I'm meeting uh, with the Allen County and City Health Board, uh, Nelson Peters, Allen County, arranged it for me. We have to thank him. He was very responsive. He said, Rudy, you're a citizen. You should be allowed to speak. Uh, and I'm going to speak <laughs> for another subject to begin with, and that's CBD oil. It's been flooding the city. And um, so I looked up the science of it a little bit. I became a little bit concerned uh, that CBD turns off some of the enzymes in our liver which metabolize the drugs we're taking. Hmm. What could happen? The drugs you're taking, if they're a blood thinner or a cancer drug or a diabetic drug, could have great effect on you. So I don't want to say any more of that, but uh, at the end of that, uh, I'll be speaking about uh, diabetes. Dr. Deadman Mann, who was kind and doing a great job, uh, has agreed that I might bring up the subject of diabetes. I'm going to have with me Reverend Crystal Bush uh, from the Zion Church, I think it is, by St. Francis there, who I attended a few times over there. Uh, uh, she's been running a nutrition course there every Tuesday for a number of years now. We started with me looking her up, and she is very responsive. Uh, uh, and uh, she also thinks that type 2 diabetes and 50 diseases is a huge opportunity for us as a community could lead the state in dealing with this problem. We can't just ignore it. Our hospitals are filled with people with the complications of type 2 diabetes, heart attack, strokes, uh, dementia, renal disease, liver transplants, uh, renal transplants, uh, renal dialysis, amputations, dislocations, all related from diabetes, which is stoppable, preventable, reversible 90% of the time. I didn't see a big case, okay? But it's in many books. It's not something I uh, just uh, uh, made up. I have some of the books with me. I will hold them up because I encourage you to get them because if you're on the path to it, uh, that uh, you would have some knowledge because that is the only way that you may change. The first book I'd like you to read, actually I'd like you to look at YouTube. Uh, I gave my last copy away on that one, but it's Joseph Kraft, K-R-A-F-T, Joseph, YouTube. Watched it, it's about 30 minutes. In 1975, he did autopsies uh, on about 3,000 people. He looked at the pathology, okay, the micropathology under the microscope. And then he, because of that interest, he studied 14,328 people, his doctors around him at, at uh, U University of Illinois, I think it definitely was Chicago. And uh, he ran glucose tolerance tests, which you may be familiar with, where you fast overnight, and they get a fasting blood sugar, and then one hour, two, three, four, five, maybe it's one or two hours, of blood sugars, okay. What he added to it was serum insulins. Mm -hmm. Fasting, one hour, two hour, he says, that's all you need. Uh, and he found 
that the serum insulin, which is the one that pushes sugar into the cell, okay? You need insulin to hit these receptors to open the door to your cell, okay? Uh, and uh, he uh, ran these curves and found that the elevated serum insulin preceded the elevation in blood sugar 10, 15 years before. Yeah. Wow, that's great news. Uh, because if we did blood testing on children, for example, or started a lot sooner and put it on a page or in a computer chip, we could catch people on the way to uh, diabetes and prevent it. Weight loss has a lot to do with it, and, and we could teach children about eating the proper food, and they wouldn't get all these diseases we're treating for. You go to some churches today, and I teach some, where especially uh, uh, some black churches, because their genetics has been changed because of slavery. They starved them. So what they give them? Sugar. Sugar cane is what they were working with. Uh, they're working on sugar plantations, change their genetic s structure a bit, and when they eat the wrong food, southern cooking, for example, they explode. Same in the white community. It's not that they were black, it's just that they were the slaves. You take the white community made them slaves, same thing would happen. Uh, uh, and the diabetic rate is extremely high in this community. And what are we doing? We're amputating their legs, burying them from heart attacks, uh, that many of them have dementia, uh, and, and I, I, I'm against it. I not allow it. This, we need to face this epidemic, and this beautiful, uh, well-spoken minister, Crystal Bush, is going to appear with me at this meeting on July the 15th at the uh, city where the mayor's offices are, where they have the medical board meeting, She's going to appear with me, along with a pharmacist and a couple of other people, and we're going to present the thing on CBD, but this thing on, we're going to ask them that the next meeting, which is in two or three months, be mainly on diabetes or meet beforehand to make a plan for the city. Uh, and it has been brought up to me uh, that, uh, oh, they won't change, so I don't want to bring it up. No. I, I don't accept that. We need to bring it up because then develop a plan as how we're going to get people to change because they don't want these diseases. But uh, unfortunately, sugar is psychoactive and, and uh, it's the booger and the hooker. <laughs> okay. Uh, and let's face it, you go inside of a lot of institutions, uh, churches, for example, what's the first thing they want, want you to have is a donut. Okay. Eat these little itty bitty donuts, and you can't help it, and then you sit down for the sermon. It's got to stop. It's got to be healthy food. We need to educate people uh, on eating power. That, at many other places, of course. That's what we give our little kids to, to get them to keep quiet. Uh, their brain, children's brains, are not fully developed, uh, so they will s seek this nasty stuff, uh, uh, sh uh, sugar. Uh, I'm in heaven. Nature designed our brain that we have the quick fix, the dopamine center, it lights up like that. It's like having a marijuana or a cigarette or alcohol. It lights up and we feel good. The kids stop crying and uh, we give them sugary drinks. Uh, nature uh, designed it that way. We have to give them different food uh, uh, than sugar to, to stop this uh, plague, uh, for example. Uh, so, uh, I. I feel optimistic that we will have some progress because we're holding hands, we're joining together. Uh, interesting enough, this morning I saw a lady from Germany who was seeing me about her son, a certain problem he had where I see people for free at the Three Rivers Pharmacy. You can call Sheila Walker, 373-1083, if you want to see me for free, Friday mornings, diabetes, addiction, things like that. Uh, and, and she wanted discuss her son, but to find out what, I said, what do you do in Germany? I speak German, so, because I lived as a child. And, uh, and she was a school teacher, and her job, 
the government requires it to teach children in kindergarten, first, second grade, about food, how to cook. She teaches little kids how to cook. The government demands it, and that's a problem in this country. Our children are finishing high school, got no idea about good food is, no idea how to prepare a meal, uh, uh, and they may know their physics, they may know their math, which, but that's not, uh, how, how far is that going to carry? That's important. But proper health should be number one. If you're, you're not healthy, what good is the rest of what you do? Mentally, physically, uh, healthy. That was her job. So I think that guy sent her to me today to, yeah, to, that she is an expert. Matter of fact, she was leaving town, I think, a day or two. So I uh, couldn't put her on this TV show. You might have enjoyed hearing it uh, from her. So what do I generally recommend? You know, to is even as a child, because we're seeing so many kids now that are overweight, which can lead to diabetes, okay? But you can be skinny too. It's a blood test that count. So I suggest blood testing at a very young age. Joseph Kraft says age three. I've been seeing age two forever, and I thought maybe I was radical. I could see I was not, because Kraft determined through running the serum insulins that vascular disease, for example, is 99% related to elevated serum insulin. All these heart attacks and strokes and, and dementia and increased rates of cancer and stiffness, arteries, all these things are related to insulin levels. Yeah. What are the complications of type 2 diabetes, things that we could avoid through proper blood testing, which I will dis discuss more. You can pick up this one-page sheet at the Three Rivers Pharmacy where I list the blood testing up front, which I'll go over in a minute, and the complications, not all of them, but a lot of them from type 2 diabetes are on there. Well, what are the, some of them? Let's go through some of them. Uh, uh, Eye symptoms, cataracts, visual loss, retinal uh, disease precedes the diagnosis of diabetes the old way, glucose tolerance test, blood testing, seven years. person will have eye findings, go see the eye doctor. I remember going to two eye doctors here seven, eight years ago because I knew this then. And, and they were excellent ophthalmologists. And I wanted them to lead the way in this diabetes fight. They were very nice to me. They took some of my information, but they did not join me in leading the way. Okay? Very top notch, still today, I think the best guys in town in this retinal surgery and all these things. But in terms of the passion to prevent this, they never joined hands. I don't know what to say. Okay? Uh, Insulin, incidentally, is elevated in type 2 diabetics. Type 1, you know, where they have no insulin. Okay, type 2 is where you have too much insulin. Uh, okay, and, and type 1, uh, where the pancreas died from a virus or bacteria, incidentally, you can, you can uh, kill the pancreas too, uh, drinking milk mm -hmm. can be done or also uh, with gluten is, a, is another one. So there are things that can knock out the uh, uh, pancreas. Uh, as a matter of fact, Joe Kraft found if he did autopsies on somebody, say from an accident or something, they were type 1 diabetic, they would generally find and, and never had the shots. It was coincidence it was diagnosed. They had no vascular disease whatsoever. That's the reason he got into this realizing you need insulin to get vascular disease. It, it, that confirmed, and one of the first places that vascular disease occurs is in the kidney. Such a little amount though, that it doesn't cause disease yet, so it's not diagnosed except at autopsy, okay? Although they get renal dialysis, you know, late in the disease. Uh, the second place it hits uh, is the rhythm area uh, the septum of the heart. That's number two. And then remember I said the retina. 
eye disease precedes diagnosis of type diabetes seven years. Okay, but the serum insulin was elevated a long time before that. Okay? Next comes, uh, it also uh, involves uh, rectal dysfunction about three years before diagnosis and peripheral neuropathy, numbness in the arms and feet, a year or two before the diagnosis. Okay? Uh, uh, so it's very important to know. Let's go down the list of diseases. Thyroid disease, actually dental disease, extremely common with sugar. Uh, and, and to properly brush our teeth, for example, and avoid sugars as children, we need to emphasize that more. Mm -hmm. I know I didn't learn it. Uh, I, I hate to admit it, but I didn't brush my teeth till I was in college. Mm -hmm. My parents didn't stress it. No one stressed it. Went to a good high school. They didn't stress it. It seems unbelievable to me, but I remember a fraternity brother put me against the wall because you're going to have a function at night where you get brush your teeth. Huh? I don't know what to say. Matter of fact, when I f my first week at IU, I'd have two teeth removed. So dental uh, education in this country, poor, very poor. They learn a little, but you need to brush your teeth at least uh, twice a day before you uh, go to bed. You can avoid a lot of illness. So sugar, most of the cavities are due to sugar. We brush our teeth regularly. Dental business probably will cut down. Maybe that's why we don't hear about it, okay? I don't know. Thyroid disease, unannounced heart attacks and strokes. Most heart attacks, actually this is interesting, uh, people have no warning. They grab their chest and they die. Mm -hmm. No angina, which is previous pain, is grab their chest and they're gone. That's the reason to get properly checked, say in case you get diabetes. Uh, for example, which causes increased insulin. And insulin causes 99% of vascular disease. So when you see these hearts in front of these hospitals, what should they be throwing at us, teaching us? My, matter of fact, Dr. Kraft would say, if you come to the emergency room and had a heart attack and you ask the patient, uh, do you have diabetes? They say, no. You know what Dr. Kraft would say? It's a lie. They were never tested properly. The patient's not lying. The patient was misdiagnosed. His doctor didn't run the proper test. He had vascular disease all along undiagnosed. A lot of times they'll have retinal and eye disease and no one follows it up with glucose tolerance testing to see if they get diabetes or PED or, or neuropathy. That's the reason I'm declaring war on diabetes. I want it prevented through proper early testing as a child. Hmm. I'm declaring war on diabetes. Till we do that, if we did that, we'd empty the hospitals. Hmm. And children would not get type 2 diabetes with too much insulin, okay? It's insulin causes vast disease. Like I said, if you're type 1 diabetic, you never get insulin. They don't get vascular disease. Insulin also causes, it's anabolic, makes you gain weight. It opens the cell, a door in the cell, allows fat in, makes arteries stiff, uh, causes dementia. And the reason for the dementia is it's an IDE enzyme, insulin degrading enzyme, is the one that's responsible to get rid of insulin, metabolize, metabolizes, okay? Because the insulin level is elevated from, from type 2 diabetes. Uh, uh, that is all used up. His other job is to get rid of amyloid that causes dementia. That's why there's so much dementia uh, in, out, in uh, diabetes. Half of Alzheimer's disease dementia can be avoided. Don't get diabetes, no dementia. So uh, this one company doing research discovering one drug is going to help dementia and Alzheimer's disease, baloney, baloney, baloney. I'm glad they're doing research, but we could cut the rate in half by getting rid of diabetes, by getting early serum uh, insulins, okay? So we talk about heart attacks and strokes. Strokes is vascular disease. Uh, also, uh, insulin will deposit fat in the liver mm -hmm. and, and also the other organs and in the pancreas itself. Uh, 
Matter of fact, uh, you know, after a while, the insulin level needs to elevate to get sugar into the cell. The pancreas is working like anything, anything, and then one day it quits. And now the type 2 diabetic, who used to have too much insulin, has no insulin, unless he's taking medication, okay? Uh, uh, and what's the reason for that? Because he has fatty infiltration of the pancreas, just like in the liver and in the omentum around your organs. Uh, and if you get rid of the fat through proper eating, when I was reading this book here today, uh, page 88, The Diabetes Code, uh, by Jason F-U-N-G, he says in there, that almost all cases where the type 2 became type 1 is no longer secreting insulin is reversible. It says so. I told you the page number. Mm -hmm. That spells off opportunity. Okay? Remember my show was stopping, preventing, and reversing. So if you're t uh, type 2 uh, through proper nutrition, which isn't that hard, isn't that hard? How long would it take? I can show you the books. I got them with me. Six weeks. Mm -hmm. Six weeks. Good. And let me continue the list of complications. Vast disease, amputations, dislocations, all from vast disease related to uh, diabetes. Knee and hip arthritis can be related to uh, diabetes. Good books to read. I want to get this part of the way we should get the end, end of diabetes, Dr. Joel Furman. Actually, a friend of mine. I beat him in tennis two years in a row. <laughs> he said he came to town a year ago, maybe it's been nine months now, to play me tennis, and he gave a talk at the First Assembly Church, a good talk. And, uh, and he'll be back next year to play me another match. <laughs> okay. Great book to read. But what does it say? End of diabetes confirming what I'm speaking about. Matter of fact, if you buy the hard copy, uh, yeah, this is a hard copy. It, my name's in the back of it, right down there. I'm not bragging. I'm just saying that I have knowledge of it. Another good book to read to me is Goodbye Diabetes, West Youngberg. West Youngberg, okay? Because I want you to have information, okay? Goodbye Diabetes, goodbye. Again, same kind of thing, proper nutrition, 70-80% good nutrition, a little bit of exercise, no diet, food selection, uh, which nutrient-dense food, foods of color, are your mother, okay? <laughs> uh, sugar's a bugger in the hooker, okay? A little bit of exercise, go away six weeks, yeah. Matter of fact, Mark Hyman, another book, which I don't have here, uh, would say, uh, Eat Fat, Be Thin, that's the name of that book, and what he's really saying uh, uh, is, that your blood sugars will drop so quickly when you eat right, uh, eat uh, good fats, fats from nature, glycamole, nuts, olives, uh, uh, and, and vegetables and fruits, say 70, 80 uh, percent, that the blood sugars will drop within days. You probably need to get off oral medication within days, saving you all kinds of money, and many times uh, insulin itself uh, within a few weeks. Mm -hmm. Right in this book, so Dr. Furman's book, Dr. Youngberg's book, it's right in there, but read this books. Go to your doctor and tell them, I want to, don't just, here's your pills. Doctor, could I lose some weight? Uh, and uh, uh, before I take a me a medications, for example, it's a good thing to uh, uh, remember. The last book I want, I've got a couple more books actually uh, to recommend here, Diabetes Unpacked. For the Noakes Foundation, I think it's a very good book to read. I just want you to have confirmatory evidence, confirmatory evidence, uh, what I'm speaking about, and, and keep a record, uh, keep track, record uh, of the blood sugars of your children and yourself. Put it in a book or a computer chip, whatever, and then follow them over the years. And if you notice the serum insulin elevated, they're going to be diabetic. Start feeding them right. If they increase in weight, uh, check that. Have them exercise more. You'll save them maybe 50 diseases. Mm -hmm. What a difference you can make. I have many patients who've lost their diabetes uh, because they gained information. But, but some people don't want to change, okay? 
It's not a diet I recommend. It's a way of eating, okay? Nutrient-dense food. Fruits of color are your mother, okay? And maybe uh, a little bit of meat, a little, uh, uh, turkey, uh, fish, a couple of days a week. That's seven days of steaks and going to do it, okay? Uh, uh, steaks will raise the insulin level too. Yeah, proteins will do it. It's not just sugar levels. Mm -hmm. Interesting enough, you know how much sugar we have in our body? Four milligrams in our blood, that's it. Well, yeah, very little, actually very little. So, and, and, and uh, we don't even need sugar. We can live on fat metabolism, that's called keto metabolism. We can live, live on ketones, uh, but uh, that's an, uh, another story. Another book that I like, the last one I'd like to review is The Diabetes Code by Jason Fung, F-E-N-G. I think it's a good book to read. And, uh, and uh, if you're on the path to this or have it, good stuff. Information uh, leads to uh, good health. You can watch my YouTube shows, maybe a little quicker and easier. I'm working on podcasts now, so maybe you can just listen while you're driving your car or something. Uh, on this too, save you the trouble of uh, reading these uh, uh, books. Uh, so remember the blood testing I want you to get uh, starting at a very uh, young age uh, is the glucose tolerance test with a serum insulin, maybe a CRP that indicates inflammation, a lipid uh, profile, a triglyceride HDL ratio, lipid profile. That's it. No, bi no big, huge deal. Uh, even just the glucose tolerance test with serum insulin would be enough. Keep, keep track of it. Put it on your computer or into a book. And if you notice the serum insulin is starting to rise, you're starting to get a member. If, you, if you're over, overweight, probably a diabetic, guaranteed. Uh, doctor, uh, uh, if they don't say so, you probably just had the wrong test. If I'm wrong, that's fine. There are a few people uh, where it's not the case, but it's very rare, um, okay? Uh, and uh, you can read Mark Hyman. The guy I said that wrote Eat Fat, Be Thin, he's written many other books too. Uh, I think very good books uh, to read. He has 71 pages you can print up, get it off the internet. Read that for more explanation about, remember I spoke about the glucose tolerance test, the stages uh, are leading to it. But I think if you just follow the serum insulin and see it increasing, uh, uh, the simplest thing uh, is to get a, a, a a uh, fast overnight and get a two-hour serum insulin. That's all. Okay, if it's over 40, you're diabetic. Confirm it, though. Get another test sometime. Maybe a, a different kind of test. Uh, confirm it, yeah. That's right in, in, uh, doc, in doc, uh, Dr. Kraft's book. That, that's the simplest way, but you'll not meet many providers who are uh, familiar uh, uh, with that. And, and you can get a copy of this number I said at the pharmacy for free, uh, if you wish. So uh, in, in a, a summary, I think you got it now. I'm declaring war on diabetes. Early diagnosis to reverse it is simple, okay? That's called Occam's razor. The simplest answer is usually the truth, called Occam's uh, razor. Simple, eat right, exercise a little bit, six weeks. Goodbye, diabetes, and all those illnesses that, that you could get, including uh, cancer, dementia, could all be avoided. Very simply, watch my other shows. You can go to YouTube, watch a whole bunch of my shows on uh, aspects of health, wellness, and reversal. I'm doing this because I love you, care about you. Uh, when you see me, buy me a cup of coffee, give me a hug. If you want to see me at the pharmacy, just call over there. Three Rivers Pharmacy. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. God bless.